Whew, it is hot out, creamy boys and creamy girls. If you see me constantly sweating throughout this video, that is why, because it's freaking hot in my room and it's hot outside and I just came from outside. Oh God. But that's okay, I think we actually have a really good summer flavor here, hopefully. Today we're going to be finally, finally, finally reviewing the G Fuel Saving the Bees inspired flavor, Hive Nectar. I have been waiting for this flavor for literally almost a year now. If you guys didn't know, this flavor actually got announced, I think at the end of October of last year. So it was about nine or eight months ago, I believe. It was a really long time ago. Saving the Bees on Twitter, he basically said that he was getting his own flavor and that basically, you know, G Fuel like sent him a sample to try and he said it was really, really good. And ever since then, we just hadn't heard anything on it. And then finally, 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 we you know got an announcement of it and then everyone could actually order it and, and pick it up and stuff like that so wow this flavor has been in development for a really long time I've been like waiting for this for so long and uh, it's finally here so let's go ahead and open this up I actually have another G Fuel package here but this is gonna be for another video I got a bunch of sample packets and stuff like that okay wow we actually have for once in a long time we actually have a G Fuel sticker that is inspired by the flavor we haven't really been getting these this year yeah so that's a first I think like I said they've been sending out like these pretty I guess generic stickers that they send out to everyone but like we actually got a sticker that is actually related to the flavor itself like I said we haven't gotten that in quite a long time so maybe those maybe they're starting to do that again and here it is you guys G Fuel Hive Nectar inspired by Saving the Bees now he didn't apparently he didn't want ha to have his name on there just because like I guess he wanted it to be community centric like basically the reason why this whole flavor got made is because of his community and he didn't want to have his name on there so he wanted to have the symbol I guess of his you know community down there so that's pretty cool you know if you guys didn't know Saving the Bees is a big twitch streamer and uh, I think he does YouTube and some other stuff like that he seems like a really really cool guy I know like he is really really passionate about G Fuel he has constantly constantly talked about this flavor and how like excited he is for it and how much he loves it and stuff and even to this day after this launch like he still constantly talks about it. he just he just really loves G Fuel and uh, it's awesome to see someone like who is like super passionate about G Fuel finally get their own flavor and a smaller creator because he is a little bit of a smaller creator he does have a lot like a pretty big following and he has a huge like active community but yeah he is a little bit small so i think he is actually the first creator the like the smallest creator i think to get his own flavor so that's really cool so i didn't get the collector's box of this just because i'll be honest with you guys the the shaker cup and the collector's box for this really didn't interest me all that much like it was just like a glow in the dark you know thing so i just really wasn't interested but apparently the collector's boxes for the hive nectar g fuel literally sold that within like a couple of minutes like it was absolutely insane i think one of the fastest selling collector's boxes you know that like ever sold out within like such a short time so it's insane but yeah man this art has to go down as some of the most awesome art i'm serious like this looks really really cool i know i probably say it every really like oh this is probably some of the best art for a gfo flavor but like it's really really unique and like i just i don't know i love the black and the orange i think it goes together really really well and this has to be if not one of the best like you know i guess tub designs maybe the best one of the best maybe if not the best tub design of this year so far i mean this just looks so so cool man yeah i just think that it looks really really cool now supposedly it's a little bit disappointing because apparently this isn't a I guess honey flavor I think they tried doing honey at one point but I supposedly it didn't really work out all that well or something I'm not exactly sure but I do know that I don't think it's like there's any honey flavor to it it's just I believe it's an orange tangerine orange nectarine tangerine whatever yeah it's much it's a very like orange based flavor so yeah really really cool tub design I love that a lot and uh, I'm hoping that this is a good flavor man like I said it's been in limbo for so long it like just went completely dark for such a long time and you know I kind of started wondering like is this real or not like what's going on you know maybe something changed nope it was real they were just hard at work working on it so here we go let's go and open this baby up looking at the powder we got maybe a little bit of a yellowish orange tint perhaps let's go ahead and smell this flavor it's pretty light in the powder but i get like a almost like an orange candy flavor yeah it's really really light but yeah that smells really good it's like a it's almost like an orange creamsicle. Yeah, ooh, this smells good actually. It's like, like I said, like a, maybe like a, an orange Pez or something like that, but it's really, really light, like an orange vanilla flavor almost. I don't know, it smells really good. Alrighty, we got one full scoop of the G Fuel Hive Nectar flavor going into the shaker. I am so excited for this. I hope it's really good. All right, I'm gonna shake this bad boy up as I always do for about a minute. All right, I think we got it shaken up. I can't really, 
kind of hard to tell because for whatever reason, this is a really, really foamy G Fuel flavor, and I don't know why, just because it's like, it's so foamy, it's like I can barely shake it after. I don't know, do a bunch of crazy stuff with it. So looking at the color here, it's actually a very bright yellow. I was like really expecting this to be an orange since it is a, you know, an orange flavor, but I don't know, maybe they're trying to like go for that maybe honey look, a golden honey look, if you will. I don't know. Looks really similar. I feel like actually this is probably a little bit more like brighter than uh, Starfruit because Starfruit was like a really bright yellow. And I feel like this is actually kind of on the same level as that, but maybe a little bit brighter. I don't know. Pretty cool color though. Definitely a strong like orange smell. Wow, that actually smells really like natural, honestly. Like that smells like if you just peel an orange and you're like, you're smelling that, like how hey, you get that really strong, like orangey smell. Like that honestly smells like an orange peel, kind of like the outside. Like, if, like I said, if you just peel an orange and you kind of just start smelling, that's honestly pretty much exactly what it smells like. It smells really natural. Wow, all right. Let's go ahead and try this, you guys. Holy crap, freaking almost a year later. Been, been waiting for this flavor for so long. Hive Nectar, inspired by Saving the Bee. Saving the Bees, if you're watching this, he's not, but if he ever does, salute you. Wow. Mm. Oh my lord, that is good. Okay, so right off the bat here, you get hit with a bunch of orange. Of course, this is what this is supposed to be, like an orange-based kind, of, I guess, kind of flavor. So yeah, lots of orange in there. Like it's not just orange, but there's actually some other stuff in there. I was really expecting this to just be, oh, maybe it will just be like an orange flavor or something like that. But no, it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's almost actually kind of similar in my opinion to star fruit a little bit. I know I mentioned it with like the color, but yeah, it kind of almost tastes similar maybe to star fruit a little bit, just a little bit. So yeah, the orange flavor, I was expecting like it to be really, really sweet. It's actually not all that sweet. It's actually a little bit more of a light flavor. It's almost like to, to describe the flavor of it, it's like an orange, like a really, really sweet orange and lemon. Like I'm, I'm getting a little bit of like a lemon flavor in there actually. And yeah, it's really good actually. Um, I don't know, it's, it's really early obviously. I'm gonna need a lot more time with this, but it's like, I don't know. I was, I mean, it is a little bit frustrating, I guess, because you see all this honey, like on the, you know, the art design and stuff like that. So you're like, oh, honey flavor. It's gonna have honey in it, but this isn't a honey flavor. And I remember when this got announced and they're like, you know, it's a orange tangerine flavor, or whatever. I'm like, well, what's the point in having honey all over the, the design if it's not gonna taste like honey? Doesn't really make too much sense. I know that, you know, saving the bees, obviously, you know, that's this whole thing. You know, he has bees in his name, so, you know, they had to probably do something with bees, but I don't know, to have like all this honey and stuff all over it is just like, like if you're someone, for example, if they sold G Fuel at a store, because they don't say what the flavor of this is on the tub. Like, you know, you have to look it up online. So for example, say if they randomly started, I don't know, or starting, you know, selling G Fuel at the store, right? Tubs of G Fuel like this, and say you're someone who is like, you know, new to G Fuel, I've never had G Fuel before, you see this, you walk up and you're like, hey, honey, that has, that's a honey flavor, right? Cause like I said, it doesn't say what this is, it doesn't say on here that it's an orange tangerine flavor. You're like, oh, I like honey, this is gonna taste like honey. You buy it, you go home and you try it and then you just get this orange flavor it doesn't quite make too much sense, you know, that's what's a little bit frustrating about it. I wish that this kind of was a honey flavor. G Fuel has never had a honey flavor before, and I feel like this would have been the perfect opportunity to do that, to experiment and to see, you know, if it's any good or not. I feel like it would be probably be really good. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, like, and especially you have the name Hive Nectar. What do you think of bees and hives? Oh, honey. Honey, honey, honey. This is not a honey flavor. G Fuel, what? <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't know. I just, I don't understand the, the decisions G Fuel makes sometimes with some of their products. It can be a little weird sometimes and a little, a little odd. But with that, that out of the way, that little, I guess, I don't know, you'd call it rant maybe or, or my frustration with it to, to rank, yeah, I guess, I don't know, review it on it, it's, it's flavor its own and to just review it on what's there. It's pretty good. Like it, it's not, you know, I don't know. It's a good flavor, but I was really expecting this one to be a really, really good flavor just because Saving the Bees has constantly said, oh my gosh, this is so good, so, so, so good. And if he thinks that's a really good flavor, like if he generally thinks that it's a great flavor, that's fine. But from what I'm tasting now, it's a little bit underwhelming in my opinion. I was really hoping that, you know, oh, this could be a 10 out of 10, you know, easy 10 out of 10. Now that I'm tasting it, 
Mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll come back, I guess, at the end of the year and, you know, when I'm going to rank all the G Fuel flavors that have come out this year and we'll see where this one stands. Of course, every single G Fuel flavor that's come out this year, I'm going to be ranking it at the end of this year to see where they all stand. You know, who knows? You know, like I said, I hate the juice right now. It may be at the end of the year. I'll like it a little bit more. We'll just have to wait and see maybe flavors that I love that came out this year. I'll hate it at the end of the year. I don't know. I just, you know, your taste buds kind of just adjust to it and figure out what it is. And I don't know. But yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a really good flavor. I would say that if you like, uh, you know, orange flavor, more natural orange flavors actually, like if you like tangerines and, and stuff like that, I think you're really, really gonna like this flavor and enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's just not anything mind blowing like Saving the Bees was making it out to be. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe Saving the Bees was being a little bit, I don't know, maybe over dramatic when saying, oh my gosh, this is literally the best flavor ever. Obviously, he has a big, a huge bias towards it because it's his own flavor, but yeah, it's, it's good. It's decent. It's it's not 10 out of 10 worthy, sadly. I was really hoping it would be. But yeah, uh, is it a good summer flavor? Yes, this is a really, really good summer flavor, actually, because it's actually really refreshing and it's pretty light, actually. Like, it's not super heavy and not super sweet like some other G Fuel flavors. Uh, it's pretty light and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Definitely a really good thirst quencher, but yeah, to, to again, describe the flavor, it's like a lemon and an orange, maybe like a more of a natural kind of orange, like a orange, you know, a like tangerine, cause I think that's one of the, you know, oranges in there. So is tangerine an orange? I don't know. So yeah, uh, what would I have to rate G Fuel Hive Nectar? What would I have to rate it on a scale of one to 10? Um, I don't know. I will probably have to give this one six out of 10. It's good, but I don't know, it, it is good, and it's enjoyable, but I don't honestly think that this is gonna be a flavor to where I'm like, oh my God, every single day, like this isn't gonna be a daily for me. You know, I've said this before, like, you know, you know when you have a good G Fuel flavor, when you constantly keep going back to it over and over and over again. I've done that a lot with a, a ton of flavors. Like for example, when Bobby Boysenberry came out, I remember that was literally the only thing I wanted to drink because it's so, so good. Bobby Boysenberry is such an amazing flavor. Uh, clickbait, when that came out, I can't, kept constantly going back to it because it's so amazing so good to me and like all the other flavors like I just you know I would just kind of ignore and just kept going back to those ones because they're just so good to me this one I'm just kind of be like um yeah I guess I'll get some more hive nectar today you know I'm feeling a little feeling like I want some orange you know something like that but it's not like like oh my gosh I have to keep going back to this it's not a daily honestly for me so yeah uh overall six out of ten a little bit disappointing to me because, I, you know, just like one of the things that just really frustrates me is it's a little bit honey. You know, again, if G Fuel, someone who never knew about G Fuel, and for example, if they ever started selling tubs at the store, you know, just used an example, because like I said, they don't describe the flavor of what it is on the tub. You can't find it. It's not, it doesn't anywhere on here say orange, tangerine, whatever. They're like, oh, this must be a honey flavor. I'll get that. That's pretty cool. I like honey. Maybe it'll be good. Go home, try it, and they get hit with like this orange flavor. It's like, what? This doesn't taste anything like honey. G Fuel, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Why? Why, 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 why? I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it does look really, really cool. I don't know. It's just, just, just kind of odd to me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment down below, all that awesome stuff. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Creamy boy, out.